All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, uh, you kind of look at this card and you're like, oh, no, not a level 4 fusion, not another elder entity. Yep, people, it is. And, uh, of course, Norden, I wouldn't say recently came out into the he's been out for a cool minute. And uh, while he hasn't been the destructive power that we thought he was going to be, like, destroying the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, he has been an influence. I mean, that powerful effect, not only being able to go ahead and play the instant fusion that will get you an additional num uh, summon of a monster, which is powerful, but then Norden will also summon you another monster from the graveyard. It's just ridiculous. And we've seen tons of times and tons and tons of times... Uh, where you like stop your opponent's play and you're like, whoo, alright, da da da, but look, they already use your normal summon, I don't have to worry about anything else. And you're just like, Instant Fusion Norden, Norden Summon Level 4, bam, that Castell, you were really hoping that you wouldn't see. <sighs> you know, despite you stopping that normal summon, here he is, just because of Norden. Because Norden is not like a wolf bark and it's not like whatever other monster you think because those monsters cost you normal summon. You know, if you go, you know, summon wolf bark and I go solemn warning or bottomless or whatever. And you don't got a response to that, you're done. That's it. And then, you know, there is no summon another wolf bark unless, you know, you have a Tensu. You know, you need another additional card. Well, Insta is just like, hey, you know, Insta Fusion Norton, that, that's already powerful because you're already just getting another additional num monster. And usually, Insta Fusion was a pretty powerful play before, even before Norton because you would get that additional fusion summon along with the, norm the monster you normal summon your level four and then be able to exceed. But now Norton's going to summon you additional monsters. It's ridiculous. So, uh, while it hasn't been. Uh, crazy and uh, uh, you know it's de definitely debatable whether it should be banned or limited or whatever uh, my uh, spoiler alert and a uh, little shameless plug but my balance prediction is going to be going up on the 1st of February I'll be talking about him because uh, that's that's been discussed uh, this person over here decided to go ahead and make a fake card uh, you know of a different uh, elder entity, so we're going to be reviewing this card and of course comparing it to Norton, which is, you know, your primary is the fusion target. So, this is elder entity witch. Pretty simple. Uh, you know, don't, uh, that, that had some like Nordic names like Ints and Norden and stuff like that. It's just witch. Alright. Uh, a level 4, of course, fusion. Uh, dark Belcaster fusion. You're missing the effect monster part, because it's clearly an effect monster. Uh, I'm not sure if they kind of just cut that off because some cards don't have it like I know there's like a Raiden uh, who says you know like he's like a he's like a warrior tuner but he's not an effect monster when he's clearly an effect monster and then people are like oh can you feed this chain I'm like of course he can he's an effect like, I don't know like I think there's actually some prints where Konami just started cutting off effect off of monsters so not sure if it's supposed to have it or not but I think it should have it it clearly has an effect it's just not it's a after fusion effect monster yeah, anyway, uh, 2,000 attack, 2,200 defense. I believe that's the stats of Norton off the top of my mind. I think he has 2,000 attack and 2,200 defense. I don't know. You're not doing any attacking with Norton because, of course, the monster summoned through Instant Fusion can't attack. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think it's also made the same way with Norton, too. Uh, its materials are one Synchro Oryxy monster plus one Synchro Oryxy monster. So, I believe that's also Norton because I believe you can go ahead and just, you know, fuse those up, you know, up, uh, uh, I'll poly them up. I'm not sure if you poly or you contact when it comes to Norden. Hmm, I'll tell my mind. I think, I think he's poly, though. Uh, I know definitely super poly, you know. Before super poly was banned in the TCG, you know, we saw a couple of that. Uh, not just in Shadals, but they'd just be like, you know, you're playing on, uh, with OCG cards, and you'd just be like, oh, super poly. Oh, and two synchro monsters you have, well, Norden, Norden summon, you know. So, not only was he powerful in the institution, but, you know, super poly as well, so. Guess we don't have to worry about that because Super Poly's banned, still been banned, despite you know Shadal's going definitely going down to play. I haven't seen them at all. You know, uh, we've seen we've seen Klee Top, we've seen Burning Abyss do a little bit, Tolerance of course, but Necros and Shadal's, the ones that were proclaimed dead because of the hit, not a single top this entire format. So, guess they are gone. You know, and we don't even have the trains to even fuse with the Shadal. So. Yeah, there's not much you can really do with Shadal too much. I guess we can kind of wait for the uh, prediction princesses with the um, you know the repreparation of rights to try to do it that route. But you know that construct ban, it, it hurt too much. It hurt too much. Anyway, let's actually review this card. I'm talking about everything but this card. So this card's effect, because of course you want to know. You know, depending on what its effect is, you got to see how good its effect is to determine uh, whether you would run this over a Norden. So, in fact, read, when this card is special summoned, you can discard one spell card, add one spell card from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot add cards from your deck to your hand except by drawing them for the rest of this turn. 
he can only use this effect of other entity which once per duel. All right, well that explains how many you're gonna run one because you can only use the effect once per turn. But is I mean once per duel. But is that effect good? Yeah, that's really good. Like you get to pitch a spell to get any spell in your deck, any spell. Yeah, and spells go up in popularity, down in popularity. Right now, I wouldn't say spells are the best cards. I I, I, I can't say that with good conscience. With Book of Moon kind of being like eh, because it targets Regeki being kind of being like eh, because it destroys. Uh, with just the 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 popularity of Magic Backers and Cosmos, uh, it's kind of like eh, with those. But I mean, think about it. any spell card. Some decks would just appreciate that. You know, just simply just pitch any spell card that you don't need. You know, you got you got an upstart. Pitch it, pitch up, start, get you uh, that twin twister. Oh my god, you know, here we go. So, uh, and then of course, keep in mind that this card is still on the field, it's not dead. So, you can go ahead and uh, continue your plays with your uh, your, your Pepe. That yeah, it seems like this card would definitely be thrown in, uh, depending on what his region it gets hit to, or what Norton gets hit to, uh, depending on the ratio with those two. Uh, you throw one in your extra deck, one of this, and sure, you know, because you, you could probably do plays for days, you could probably be like, um, you know, uh. <laughs> You know, normal summon a monster. Yeah, normal summon a, a, a trick clown. Activate the diffusion. Summon this. Pitch whatever. Get your twin twister because or your twin whirlpool just so you can fuck up your opponent. Especially some of your hat trick or XC Patone, Miles C Chash three no infinity. Now, not only did you just pull off your first turn infinity, but instead of just have the you know having the infinity and setting up the uh your you know notices probably or having your hate the opponent. Despite your infinity, you may have their hate too. And as soon as you activate your infinity, they're just gonna be like, "All right, notice, nah, you're gone." You know, with this, you can go ahead and pitch a spell and search you, which of course is uh, even because Institution summon this zero. This pitch a spell, get a spell zero, uh, and then simply just have your twin twin whirlpool as well, just ready to go. Just set it. You know, your opponent has to guess which one if they want to try to blind. Of course, if they do, when they select their cards, you can be like, eh, yeah, no, you, I don't like the target you selected. And if they negate that, you know, then you go ahead and pay the cost, but they're going to negate that. Then they're going to set their back row, and then you'd be like, all right, you're in your own phase. Uh, let's go ahead and activate two more pole. Let me go ahead and pitch my hat. You know, my damage drug, I pop those two, my turn damage drug, I banish search. Yeah, so, uh, definitely, it just seems like, it seems like this card has a place. Uh, do I think that'll completely take over Norton? Of course not, you know. Uh, like I said, it depends on the ratios of Insufusion and Norton. If Norton's completely banned, then yes, this would, this would go to the next best Insufusion target because it does its job of Insufusion, giving you that additional level 4 to make X season synchro plays, but then also has a bonus effect of uh, being in the pitch and get any spell card, whether that be Regeki, Pokemon, Soul Charge, whatever, you name it, it's in your hand. It's in your hand uh, just by pitching a different spell card. So you, you, uh, Pitch unknown, but you're getting unknown, which is just you know fantastic. Uh, but if um, Norden goes completely unhit and Instafusion goes completely unhit, and you, you know you have three of each, and, you, and depending on how many Instafusions you run and how many Nordens you run, because I've seen a couple of times where, uh, and the, this is the ratio that they play. They play three Instafusions to make sure that they get to play, but they only play two Nordens because it's a lot of clogging in the extra. Deck. So I would think that maybe just go ahead and throwing in, maybe trying to remove something from the extra deck, going two Norton, one of this, if it was a real card, would be the correct ratio, just to make sure that when you want to get that spell playoff, you got that spell playoff. So, yeah, I think that's actually uh, not bad, not bad, you know, and whether that be, you know, just being like, hey, you know, summon this, pitch a random spell, get me a Kaiser Coliseum, just tech one Kaiser Coliseum, just so you can go ahead and get that, bam, Kaiser Coliseum, make it to the infinity. Quick, you know, play that kind of Coliseum. <laughs> yeah, so not bad, not bad. I know I'm just speaking, I'm speaking blasphemy, but I, I'm just saying, uh, I'm not. I wouldn't say that this card is broken, but it definitely just uh, speeds up plays and, and maybe even continues plays because you know you can go ahead and go into fusion, summon this, this pitch a random spell that you don't need, get yourself a uh, uh, an instant fusion. Yeah, you're gonna do that, and then. When this card dies, it goes to graveyard. Whatever he does, it'll be in the graveyard. Whether it dies during the phase because you didn't do anything with it, when it came to instant fusion, no, <coughs> or you exceed with it, detaching the control, it's gonna be in the graveyard. Then uh, you can go ahead and just go instant fusion, <laughs> Norden, Norden summon back witch, and then there you go. You know, you're, you're right on the track. Like I said just treat it as a level four. You can summon with instant fusion. It's just a very, very powerful play, and uh, I just don't think that. Uh, uh, it's broken. I don't think it's broken, but it's a very good card that I don't think it could play, take the place with Norton as of right now. But uh, I think that it could be uh, 
Norton's partner in crime, his 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 female partner, putting in that work as well with just how broken this diffusion is. So, like I said, uh, balance prediction coming up soon. We'll be talking about this diffusion Norton, of course, because we're about to go into a format where he's about to get even more ridiculous than ever with just the additional summons of uh, uh, level fours and going to that Potoma so no into infinity. So that's definitely gonna have to be addressed. I mean, I mean, think about it. if you have a level four in your credit card, he is literally a n not cost normal summon plusing Rafisha and unlike uh uh OTG I definitely see Rafisha doing a lot more, you know, a lot 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 more. Uh as we clearly saw this format, uh, uh time space trap hole is a very powerful card that has been putting in a lot of work. So just being able to play that and bottomless from your deck. Like not even like get them to your hand like Mamelio. Like it's just like it just shows that what's the point of playing Pat? What's the point of playing them trap tricks, Mermelias, and stuff like that when you could just go ahead and play the Rafisha, the, the boss ass bitch herself, and play the cards from your deck? <laughs> like ridiculous. So, anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think about Elder Entity Witch in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Not as uh, bombastic as usual. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of fake card Fridays that really caught, I mean, fake cards on the forums that have really caught my eye. So I've been kind of holding this one for a little while. But hopefully I, when I come back next Friday, we go ahead and look at something a little bit more bombastic or uh, maybe just a little bit more meta shifting. I don't know. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.